don't want to have money be the end goal. Studies show that generous people live longer, have more healthy relationships. If you're more optimistic, positive, you also become more attractive for other people. Welcome! If you don't know who I am, my name is Jesse Post and I'm a professional investor. You need to know that living is giving. You want to use your money in the most effective way. And the only way to achieve happiness is by giving your money away to other people and help them. There are so many people in need and you have the tool in your hand that can help someone else. There are a few ways that you can help somebody even if you have, let's say, a relatively low income and maybe struggle to find ways to help somebody financially. Let me give you a few examples one option is to dip generously and you can help and financially support the people that provide services to you a second thing you can buy something for a homeless person for instance you buy a loaf of bread and you give that to a homeless person or if you know that somebody has a medical condition you can help them to pay for the medical bills but if you for instance have more money you can also buy a car for a single mother there are many ways to help somebody financially i would encourage anybody to figure out what works best for them and why is giving so important first of all because it separates you from the money that you're giving and psychologically that helps you also to make better financial decisions when it comes to investing spending and saving because it separates you from your money you can look at it more objectively and and not be tempted to think about money for instance as a goal as itself because money is a good slave but a horrible master so you don't want to have money be the end goal you want to see money as a means to achieve your goals also giving has other advantages studies show that generous people live longer have more healthy relationships also they earn more money because you are generous you are let's say investing in other people's lives, you get something back for that. You get something not financially. The reason why that is the case is that because you give your money away, you experience more happiness. And of course, if you're more optimistic, more positive, you also become more attractive for other people. So how do we apply this in our own life? What we do every month, we have certain things that we are passionate about. For instance, we give money away to a foundation that helps people get out of slavery. That's a thing that really has my heart to give people freedom. Another thing that we do is next to our structural things that we give to, we also save money every month. And you put that in a separate savings account. And if we see, for instance, an opportunity to be more generous, we know that that money is there to help somebody. And for instance, if somebody has a medical bill, then we can use that money to pay for that medical bill. And that has happened in the past. And we have been able to help people uh, spontaneously, but by making that a structural savings goal, you also give yourself the room to do that. So you also can do that without ruining, let's say, the budget that you have. And it will give you also the freedom and the peace of mind to be a grateful giver thank you for watching my video if you like it subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and share it with other people if you have any questions ask them via the comment section and i will answer as soon as possible see you in my next video